I'm Sarsha the Shark, and today I'm going to be talking about the Fuji Tournament in Dayton. So as you probably know, um, now I'm only going to be fighting women's. I don't know, you might know this, you might not. I think I established it before. Um, but now I'm not doing any kids brackets, I'm only doing women's. So for this tournament, um, I didn't fight in kids. Quick disclaimer, if you ever see the matches, um, this is all women's. Um, we're doing like not really a variety of belts we're doing like white belts and blue belts if we can find them um but a lot of like blue belts and like upper belts don't want to fight me um either like scared to hurt me or whatever so it's usually white belts but this time i was actually able to fight i believe my first blue belt bracket so i'll be talking about that in this video Okay, so I'm going to talk about gi first, and I had blue belts in gi, and then I had white belts in no gi. So for the blue belt bracket at first, I was like, my confidence level was pretty low. First of all, this is, you know, blue belt. I don't know how long she's been training for, but I guess we'll see. So my first match, I believe I, yeah, I lost my first match. Um, I got submitted, um, and then I was like, okay, well, at least I know what to expect. Um, my confidence level for like some reason got a little bit higher, even though I just got tapped. Um, I guess it didn't like affect me too much, because usually when I get tapped, I'm like, oh crap. But this one, like, I knew that she was like the uh, blue belt girl that I was uh, going against. One, she was very small. Two, she was like pretty fat, like not pretty fast, very fast, very good. And at first I'm like, okay, I know what to expect, I know what her game is, maybe I can do better in the next match. So for my second match, I believe I submitted her. I know that I won. Um, I, and I think I submitted her because I think that there were submissions all throughout the day. I don't remember what I got her with. Um, rear naked choke maybe, I think. Because I believe I got her back and then I did a rear naked choke. I think that's what I did. Um, but then I was like, okay, cool. You know, I know what to do. Maybe I can actually win this. So that's when my confidence level got like super high. Not to the point where I'm like, oh yeah, like I'm bragging about it. But to the point where I'm like, okay, you know, I'm no, like I actually know what I'm doing. So for the finals match, this is basically like the tiebreaker. Um, we're going, we're going. This one, like we're both like battling. She was getting tired. I was getting tired. And I submitted her again. I believe it was a cross collar choke. At least that's what I was going for, for like the whole third match in gi i was just trying to get a cross collar choke also i didn't even say this before this was um a two out of three i only had one girl in my bracket so yes it was the same girl totally didn't make that uh clear but yes this was the same girl the whole time um but basically i got her with a cross collar choke i think so yeah it was a tiebreaker and i ended up winning the gi bracket and it was blue belt people were coming up to me and i'm like hey this is you know this is actually pretty cool i haven't fought blue belt yet and i actually won so that was my gi bracket So then moving on to Nogi, um, for Nogi I had two girls in my bracket, so three in total. Um, this like, my Nogi was actually pretty quick, this time I was fighting against white belts. So the first girl that I went with, this was probably one of my fastest uh, matches yet, which I believe Yes, I talked about this in one of my other videos because of how quick it was. All I did was I pole guard and I kimoroed her um, in like a few seconds, so <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was a pretty fat, uh, fast match, so I was like, okay, you know, this is white belts or whatever. Not saying that white belt women aren't good, but I'm just saying, you know, this is a whole different level. I think my cats are going crazy on the other side of my door. <laughs> Anyways, um, so then for my last match, because there was only two girls in the bracket, uh, I went against another white belt girl. This one went a little bit longer. I totally forgot what I got on her. I don't remember what I got on her, to be honest. Um, I don't know if it was another Kimura or not. Um, it would it will be in the video so you'll be able to see but yes I did submit her as well so there were submissions you know throughout the whole day but that was basically my day um 
those were just like my matches. Other than the matches, um, there wasn't like too much going on. It wasn't a super big tournament. There was a lot of women there. Um, surprisingly, my brackets weren't super big. I was gonna get like some other brackets. We had a lot of you know switching up, trying to get a lot of matches. But once again, that was my day. It was a super fun tournament, and that's about it. Stop grabbing that. Hips up. 